Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I'm coming with a paper box from newspapers. My son, my sons, both of them had a birthday at Friday and I have created quite similar uh, gift box from newspapers for extra uh, the gift for them, not for <laughs> for the main gift, but for little extras. And I really like that idea to create from newspapers something, you know, something funny like window back. So today I'm going to show you how you can create it, hopefully easy way, because I think it's easy and how you can decorate it really beautifully or simple way. It's very easy to make it. To just grab your newspapers, choose what side you want to have as a outside of your paper bag and I want to have this one so I'm gonna flip it over fold it on half and glue these two sides together I'm gonna use just glue stick apply the glue on one side and fold the other side over it and glue Once you do have reinforced your newspaper paper, fold one side just about half inch to make spot where you will glue the newspaper together to sleeve, but do not glue it yet. Now keep this on the top, fold the opposite side to this folded edge and match the edges. So this is the base. Now uh, imagine how big paper bag you want to have. This one, it's your full size when the paper bag is flattened down. So imagine how big sides you want to have. Open it, grab this folded side and try to fold it in the size of the side of your bag. I think this way will be good. Somehow like this. Now open your folded edge. Get up this opposite side and fold it that to your folded edge. And if you will hold these two together, you do have that sleeve. You do have a base for your paper bag. Now you need to cut uh, bottom cardstock, which you will glue it inside into your paper bag. This one. I'm going to be using some old envelope. And from that old envelope, I'm going to cut the piece, which has on one side this measurement which is 11 centimeters and the other side will be six centimeters. So here I do have my piece which has 11 centimeters here, six centimeters here. Before I will glue all this together, this is my palette now. I can create some decorations here. I can cut the windows and put their acetate piece. For that, I'm going to be using just old acetate back. I'm going to cut the window here and here. And to make it uh, cut this way that I can see through the both windows, I'm going to leave this folded. And 
these two sides I'm gonna fold on half so first I'm gonna take this one I still have this one folded and I'm gonna this edge fold to this edge So I do have folded this side now. Here we do have that opposite side, this one, and I'm gonna fold it this way. So I do have this. Now I need to open it here and here and flat it down. That way I do have nicely placed front and back cover together and I can cut through to both layers at once. So I'm gonna cut the window somewhere in the middle. I have cut it the oval using my metal, metal dies. So now I do have front, back, I do have these sides, this way actually, <laughs> and I can decorate it somehow. Uh, I'm gonna also use this uh, acrylic, acrylic, acetate back, I'm gonna place it, this is one side of my paper back, this one, it's ending here, so this piece is one side, the other side is this piece, here and here. So this will be other side of my paper bag. So I'm gonna cut strips of this acetate bag. Add the double-sided tape and glue it on the right position. So I do have here a leftover from acetate bag. And do it easy way, double-sided tape. One strip here, one strip here, and here. I'm gonna do same on that opposite side. It's the other side of my paper pack, so I will cut two pieces at once because I need two pieces of this acetate. Now I'm gonna cut it off. So it will make nice window once it's glued together. I can add here decorations, I can add here some stickers, maybe sewing, uh, maybe laces, any, any kind of decorations I want, I can add here right now. So I did decorate mine with some uh, dice. These are Tim Holtz and this is Spellbinders. 
uh, now I can start to glue it together so on this strip uh, I'm gonna use the double-sided tape just because I do have piece of that acetate back here and it will probably don't get well although here it's holding oh, I can try okay <laughs> get your glue put the glue on this fold and fold this opposite side and glue it here Now here I do have the piece I cut it for the bottom. Uh, I'm gonna place it here about three quarter of inch and kind of fold it around the edge. I think this way it will be enough to cover the full body of that cardstock. I'm gonna fold this one. And make sure it's folded everywhere nicely. I'm gonna fold it a few times all over. Always flip it, you know, on that opposite side, fold it again. think I'm done so now this will be one side this will be other side I'm gonna take my cardstock here where is the side not front or back but the side of my back here I'm gonna put a glue I'm gonna grab my cardstock I did cut it for the uh, bottom and I'm gonna place it there Make sure it's glued nicely. Now I can fold it in. It's good to wait, you know, <laughs> till it's dry. <laughs> to make sure it's dry, then it's holding better. I'm gonna wait a little bit to make sure that this side is dry. I think it's dry. So now fold this inside. Fold this one over. Lay down your paper back and fold these sides inside. Kind of like this. You will need to flood this one a little bit. And now you can place your glue on the right spot. So here inside, here inside. And on these triangles and these spots. And fold it over. And fold this over. Open your back and press the bottom together. You have nicely glued your back. You have the window through and now here on the top. I have already prepared two strips of that old envelope. They are the same leg like it's my back, like was the piece of cardstock I cut it for inside so they are same leg they are one inch wide I'm gonna fold one oh I also I don't actually I don't have to so I'm gonna get up one card here and glue it inside on front and back to reinforce this top of the paper back I'm 
Now we can flat it this way. Make two marks at the same position ish. So one mark probably here at the end of my. So probably here. And I would say here. And I'm gonna punch two holes in there. So both the, these layers I'm gonna slide in and punch, slide in. And punch. So I do have punched holes through to both layers at the same position. Now I just need some ribbon. So because I use that uh, brown paper, I do have this nature style of ribbon and I think it will fit together really beautifully. So I'm gonna cut two pieces for handles long enough that there will be some handles. Slide it in carefully, carefully, go, 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 okay, and the other half, oh, come on, go, 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 go there, go there, go there, and now here uh, I can Glue it with tape or glue it with hot glue gun or make a knot. I'm gonna make a knot on the end. One. Same I'm gonna do on that opposite side. And there you go, you do have your beautiful gift pack made based from newspapers and that rest from old uh, envelope using some decorative pieces. And here you can see when I didn't put this through, I just folded the top. I folded the top, punched two holes and uh, put through this ribbon, but the base is the same. You can have there maybe a sport theme, you know, for, for sportsmen. You can make it this very plain, very neat with long window. So uh, this is the way how you can create very easy uh, decorative uh, bag from newspapers. I hope you did enjoy it and I hope you found some inspiration. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. Have a wonderful day. Take care of yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.